Good morning, it's Saturday and we're running late. Even though I got up at six o'clock, you see I have a lot of packages to ship. So I decided to get up at six o'clock and pack them, but you know, it always takes twice as long as what I expect it to. We need to get started, see what we can find on this day of Saturday sourcing. <music> Vintage things in here. Man of the barrel. Pencil sharpener. Um, yeah, I see this crown is it's metal. No, it's really old. I just don't have any country on it. Dollar box. Kind of hard to resist. Vintage and antique things. I wish this was marked there with country, but I think I see something better. Oh, look at this stuff, hon. Can you help me? Can you get that out, please? That owl? Is it? Plaster? Is it wood? I think it's wood. For two dollars, we need to add that to our pile that we're going to create because I can see a lot of cool stuff. Stuffing. It's pretty cool though. What are these? Ten dollars. These are unusual. Very unusual candles. That ten dollars is a little high. Rooster plot. No. Could have a mate. Yeah, you need Got plenty of these at home right now in Wexford. Mm. Past metal. Got a bunch of antiques. Avon, stay away from those. These are pretty. Corbels. Oh, oh, that's what? It's got water in it. I can't believe it's not marked somehow. I don't know. You know, we buy a teapot once in a while, but Lemon Federalist Ironstone Japan. It's a nice color. Teapot's $4 okay. each. That looks more modern. What is that? What does it say on the bottom? What was it? Oh, it's got a sticky tag from where it was bought. It's, it says Brins, nine nine nine. Brins, Brins in Taiwan. Pittsburgh. Okay, I think I'll pass on that. That's really cool. It's a dragon. It probably said Japan on that little sticker. Can I see what kind of condition is it in? I'm trying to get the sticker to where you can read it. Yeah, well, you don't want to lose that sticker. It's not chipped. This, this is super unique. I would do that. I'm looking through this dollar box again. What do we have here? Texas, made in Japan. I don't know, I'll try your trivet. I think I'm going to get this wood man in the barrel. Doesn't hurt to have some smalls on hand. I'm getting these glasses for $10 for the set and the teapot and the owl so far. Got a new sealed puzzle here. City of Boston history over time puzzle for $2. I think I'll pick that up. What is that? It's a, a wooden cigar press. Cigar press. For hand making cigar. Roll roll them up and lay them in here and then put the lid on and press them to dry. You know, when I lived in Tampa in Ybor City there was a lot of cigar factories and things and I think I saw these hang, hanging on the wall. It looks familiar now that you say that. How yeah. much are they asking for it? They said twenty five. Twenty five. No, I can't do that. Prices are a little bit high. Yeah. I'm trying to negotiate but Yeah, why not? Not moving, really. Kind of stuck on their prices. I guess I don't need jewelry, do I? Step away from the jewelry. These are cute. They want 10 for them, and I don't think I can get, but maybe $29.95, so I'm going to have to pass. Beautiful neighborhood. I'm living right on the river there. I don't know if you can see it. Full house, kind of retro. Call a sec here. Only a few sales open today, but we found a few things. I couldn't video at the last sale because we were chatting too much, but I'll show you what I found. Keep watching.
We are here at this sale near the airport. What's it say here? Sale today, 10 to 2, Fenton Glass Depression Carnival Household and cash only. Oh, you do have a sale here. We do have a sale here. <laughs> you do. Oh, it's nicely set up. We have a few things here to sell. Just a few. It's a mistake sale? Yes, our mother's, our, our mother's Oh, and I wasn't sure if it was a business. I thought it was a business sale. No. Get it a lot of time. Well, maybe two. I used to work here, and I know the guy that owns the building, so he's just going to be used for a couple of days. Scratch and done. This is a uh, estate sale. It's not a business, but. We've got to pack it back up what we don't sell, so we're making it. like it's. Well, you brought your own shopping cart. Full blown prices. <laughs> yeah, I always bring my own basket here. <laughs> Shaving mug. Piano babies. Look at those Dutch shoes. Huge. And these pink kitty cats. Oh my gosh. Those are too cute. Or I can hear the airplanes going overhead. I can hear the airplanes in here. Yeah. Yeah, I used to work here, and you, you get used to it after a while, you don't even notice them. Every once in a while, though, they'd rattle the windows, and that would make you remember. Then you would Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, sometimes you hear just like a bomb coming, yeah. and you're just waiting for it. <laughs> Well, you have it set up like a store. Well, thank you. It's she beautiful. Worked hard on it. <laughs> I know. I can tell. Look at this one. That's pretty. Cuts to it. I've never seen one like that. The eyes a little bit out of the socket, and it's um, made in Taiwan. It's the size away from the house. Um, it's four dollars a set. Oh, that ear is chipped. It's cute. Bone dishes at 25 for you have prices. I suffer. Uh, oh, they I think that came from Germany. Harry probably. This is probably not a bad deal. At 15. Kitschy Kitchen Collectibles Field Guide. They want three dollars for it. It's kind of cool. I like to have books like these on hand. I think I want like that. Fenton Glass Price Guide. Now the prices don't really matter. I have eBay for that. But, but I do like these books on brand names and stuff. So I'm going to put the phone down and take a look at these. What I am getting today is quite a nice collection of books to research and reference for all types of companies, as you see here. So for that, I'm pretty excited, and I'm going to get each one of these for $3 each. Some are marked four or five. Good morning. He's ignoring me. We just found another sale. i got to watch my step, and so we're going to go check it out. It's um, at a house. There's a fancy pan. Oh, yeah. Hi, little wear. This is a fancy pan. And it's got the insert for $2. It's got a little wear, but I'm going to get that. Let's put that in my basket. <laughs> Taylor Smith and Taylor, Lou Ray. Kind of rough, though. Old Stanley. Thermos for five dollars. That's a fancy little creamer. Those are so real fast. I'm gonna slow down on getting those. 
It's uh, very sparkly, refracting in the light here, so it's uh, definitely lead crystal. It's pretty. I'm just looking at these. I think I'm going to slow down on buying creamers. I'm really not flying out the door, but that one is beautiful. I wear a lot of aqua color. It's pretty. brought a shopping basket with you. Yeah, she brought the shopping basket. She's carrying it for me. <laughs> I just have to carry it. Oh, well. <laughs> I know I'm going to get that one. Okay. Set that over there. I, oh, wear that, I wear that color a lot. So, the foam. Yeah, just the foam. These are hats are free. Sharpie. Sharpie 500. They have some dust on them. Yeah, Arrivi's still around. Yeah, yeah. Arrivi's out of parts. Why? Wow. Oh, they sent for somebody else. BMS. But it's really dusty. Oh, what? Um, I know. It's just so yeah. cheap looking. Those have a lot of color. Uh. is a vintage kitchen. More vintage than ours was when we bought our house. What have we got? Some ceramics here. There's a few things out on the porch, but the rest of the stuff is in here. Mark, a punch bowl. Early American press cut, 27 piece, $15. And it's so tiny. No, that's the that's the foot. That's the uh, pedestal, yeah. Um, but I even have the number here, I could look it up. What are these? Lennox. Lennox? Does it say Lennox? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Make offer. They have $20. $20 each? I don't think so. Each? They're not all the same, hun. There's three different sizes. And yes, people, I call them Mark Hun more often than not. So I know it's going to end up on the videos. So I might as well just acknowledge it. Well, not all of them are new. Glad you told us before we went any further with it. Lots of votives, 50 cents each. These are flash though. It's not red all the way through, it's just applied. And I think the green ones are the same way, just applied or flash. Oh, fish bowl. Wood. Shipping. This is a fancy candelabra. But I don't know if it would condense down. I guess we could take it apart right here to pack it. And this one here, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it's supposed to be a balance. Yeah. These are Royal Hager, and I wouldn't know that. And I wouldn't know that if I picked up this one because it's covered with felt. Oops. <laughs> this one's all chipped up, but it has the uh, Royal Hager on the bottom. There's these large ashtrays, but everything, everything is chipped. So we're gonna have to walk away. Look at that clock. That is mid-century modern. It has these sconces next to it. What is this made from? That is me it's metal. Pretty wild. Does it say anything on the back? Nothing on the back, but really, that's really cool. Do you think that we can just change the battery on that and get that working? If you like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe and I appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.